start the video. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank each and every one of y'all for clicking on this video. Today, we are here taking care of the animals. We're gonna give you an update on the animals. Um, as you see, we've got a ton of quail eggs. We, we actually ship a bunch of quail eggs off to other people that actually purchased eggs from us. And yeah, there's a bunch. And they have had a really good um, hatch rate. So Jack would grow outdoors. Uh, Jack would grow Jack outdoors. Actually had a bunch of his hatch off. Uh, I think um, 20, I believe. And then we also had a couple subscribers order some, and they had a really good hatch out. I've got a few of, uh, videos from that was actually sent to us from other subscribers and pictures. I'll go ahead and put them in this video as well. Uh, today, we're just cleaning out the actual chicken or the uh, the actual quail pens. I always clean them out at least two or three times a week. And as you see, we need to gather eggs. Um, this is about three days. This is three days, and this is how many eggs we get in three days. Um, the, this middle row is the last uh, quill that we actually had hatched. And we still have a few uh, quill inside that actually hatched with this group, but they just didn't grow as fast or they hatched too late or later than, than these a couple days later. So, um, anyways, we're going to go inside, we're going to get the quill. Then we're going to come back out here and move those quail into, in, into their new home. Then we're going to check on the button quail and go over and take a look at the chickens. Uh, so we got several things we're going to do with the animals we today. Feed the dogs. Feed the dogs. We got to just take care of a little bit of everything. We have to train and the cockroaches. Also, when we tried to go with the rubber bands. Um, we, we started zip tying our quail, try to separate them so we know which ones they come from. Um, so I didn't like these because as they grow, this actually cut into their leg. Well, it happened with the rubber bands. Uh, luckily, I caught it in time and I was able to get it off. But the, the quail actually has a, a big sore on its foot. I've got one quail that's injured. It actually escaped and a varmint of some sort tried to get a hold of it. So anyways, we're going to go in here and get these quail and bring them back out here. the guys just went inside to get the other quail to bring them outside and we are feeding the chickens and who do I have feeding the chickens Me? are y'all feeding the chickens yeah the chicken I don't know the I think Miss Addison's feeding the chicken let's see Over here. <laughs> hey, Blake. All 
right, Braley's turn. I do it for him. I want right next time. That's enough for today. Hey, Go ahead, stop. Braley. Sex, sex these quail. Um, this one here is going is a actual rooster. You see the red in him, and then hold that in up there. Turn that around. See, there's no red in this one. It's got all the spots. That's going to be a hen. So, um, I absolutely love raising these cornix quail. They're pretty cool. Ain't that right? Yeah. So we're going to take this bucket and fill it up, but before we start that, besides just putting the eggs inside here, I'm going to go get some of the shavings put in here. And that way it's a little bit softer so it don't break so many eggs. Oh, you got that. Harley. Throw it against the bill. Like busted on the no. wall. Isn't that what you did? No. I um. broke the yoke though. That was the good part. Alright, we just about got them all gathered here. Yeah, you one more. One. Oh. Just another one. We missed one. Where is it at? Right oh. here. No, nope. no, that one fell another. <laughs> We'll get that in later when it falls down. So we're going to go ahead and set those right here. And um, so I, I still have not made our, our video for the actual water heater yet. I was going to wait until it got a little bit cold, but I'm going to go ahead and make one here soon. But guys, if you if you have to deal with your water freezing 
and happen to come outside all the time to unthaw your water or bring water out to your animals, you will definitely want one of these water heaters. Unfortunately, I didn't have one of these things as we went through our winter storm. Um, the company actually sent me a few of them afterwards, but now I know I'm going to be prepared. So I'll leave a link down below so you can check those out. Absolutely works. It's really good. We uh, actually hooked it up. You could almost take a hot water bath with it. Uh, it's really warm water. So um, Why once it again, touch it? It, well, it's going to be hot on the inside, but this is your protector. So oh. anyways, I'll leave a link down below so you can check it out. Harley! We, um, what is it? <laughs> Hanger. Hanger. Harley getting the hangers. Harley, no. Harley, no. <laughs> he wants to play. Yes. He doesn't get in the direction. Out, out, out. Leave it. Leave it. Sit. Done. That's it. Harley hasn't got to go to work for a little while. So, uh. We got it. We'll, we may get him out and play with him here in just a little bit. We'll just see. See what we uh, see how he acts. But, yeah. Anyways, um, also we got the actual. We've still got the button quill out here. They're almost like nine weeks old. Um, I did put some actual eggs in, or uh, not eggs, things to make them lay eggs. Um, it's the actual egg, or I, I don't know what it is. The stuff I feed the chickens to help it. Harley's eating that hang Harley eating that hanger is gonna end up cutting his insides out. But anyways, um I don't remember what you call that stuff that we give the chickens to help uh, anyways I don't remember the stuff uh, what's it called the egg layer or laying pellets um, so I actually got some laying pellets and chopped those up and gave them to the actual button quail so hopefully they will actually start laying eggs they're almost like 10 12 weeks old huh an egg. Oh. In my corner. I just gave them that stuff the egg it sure is ain't it mm-hmm Look at that little egg right there. Let me, uh, yeah, uh, easy. Look, that you got it easy so that, where'd you see it at? Over there in that corner. See it? You hold these ones over here so they don't fly out. I can grab it. Right there. Let, let it down some, Layton. There it is, right there, the little egg. I can grab it. Alright, let Daddy grab it. Alright, y'all stay right there. Watch that side over there. This corner. See if there's oh, any more. Oh, th there is another one right there. Huh? There's yeah. another one back here in the back. Oh, there is. Alright, Hold on. See it? Right oh, here. yeah. I don't see it. This. I don't see it. I don't want them birds to fly out. All right. That one? Just set it down for now. Let's see those babies. Look at the. Hey, give me my. Put one on my pinky. We need to go get a quail egg. Give me right. We need Hold to on. get a, one of these and then a quail egg. And a chicken and egg. Chicken egg. All right. Is there any chicken eggs? Let's go see if there's any I mean, chicken eggs. That's egg. what I mean. That's a good job. That's a good job hanging it up. What in Kessie's video? I looked through. I'll, through. I'll, I'll get that corner. There was an egg here. There was a right here. It's yeah. buried. Okay. All right. So I, I know I seen one earlier or yesterday. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this down. Uh, that, Daddy's got this. One. So now that we we got one actual hen leg, now that we actually got one hen egg, 
I don't know what's going on with these guys, but we haven't been getting any eggs for the last two or three days. But before they actually uh, stopped laying, we was getting eight eggs a day. We have eight hens. So um, maybe they just got to take a cycle, take a break for a while. I don't know. But uh, so now let's go over here and get a quail egg and we will actually get a, a actual double oak as well. So let's walk over here. right here on the poop so we're going to get an actual quill egg and then I'm going to also get a double oak so uh, oh, these. all right so Layton's got the actual quill egg or Layton's got a chicken egg, a double oak quail egg, and this is a quail egg, and these are the button quail. Look how smaller they are from the regular quail egg. Let's put it by the actual chicken egg. Wow, that's like five of them. That's crazy. We'll put all of them right there. As you see, these are the actual button quail eggs two of them that's amazing so they're two different colors so I don't know if that means there's two hens there I don't know I don't know if that means there's two hens or what because there for a while I really thought there's all roosters I don't know I wonder how we actually sex the actual button quail if you know how how to actually sex the button quail please leave a comment down below and uh, if you've ever raised any button quail leave a comment down below because I absolutely love how small these eggs are that's crazy um, no they haven't had yet so anyways the walker farm fan eggs are going on lockdown uh, tonight so we're going to go ahead and actually candle some of them see if we actually got baby uh, chicks in them um i know that the baby chick or the, the actual chickens are solid black the legs and everything so um it's really a rare uh chicken the first time I seen them was on uh, Gary and Cassie's channel, Walker Farm Fam, and then I also seen them on Chad's channel, Adler Farms. So, also, if, if you're not subscribed to either one of those channels, please subscribe to their channel and tell them Rustic Woodwork and Family sent you over there. Um, great family channels. You absolutely love their channels. So, anyways, let's go ahead and go in here and candle some eggs. All right, so this is uh, Egg Candler. One of our subscribers actually sent it to us. Ray's also the one that actually sent us uh, our button quill eggs that we hatched out of our little giant incubators. These incubators are absolutely awesome, guys. I don't know if if you've ever raised... Um, if you've ever raised any baby chicks or anything like that, we've been using little giant products. Um, they have been a great product for us. Um, the, it's almost dummy proof to actually hatch eggs as long as you get good fertile eggs you will hatch some eggs um, and the reason why I went ahead and bought three of them is eventually we'll get another one for each child but we can actually be putting eggs in these every every I think it's eight days or so we can switch them out if we get them on the right right settings or right time so anyways we're going to get the kids in here and then we're going to go ahead and uh, candle the eggs hopefully we hatch off a bunch of these uh, baby chicks and baby quails so we will already have a bunch of chickens for our new homestead um, if you're new to our channel please subscribe to our channel and check the notification bell that way you don't miss any of our videos and go back and watch our journey we purchased 17 and a half acres and we have put a road in getting ready to put water line in we've been working on the pond as well and hopefully soon we we'll get all the products and and everything that way we can go ahead and start the process on the house um, absolutely love it out there it's it's beautiful it's quiet so can't wait until we actually get moved out there and able to start the homestead with our family so if we ever get the kids in here we'll get started hopefully all the eggs are good but uh, one of the times that we actually uh, candled the quail eggs there was a bunch of them that was bad so what we're going to do is we're going to take this lid off or raise the lid up and um, I'm going to reach in and grab some eggs 
and we'll candle them. Steph, if you would, trade me positions here, and I'll have you set the bad ones over here. Hey, Daddy. Huh? What about the mop? Didn't when it no nothing in there. If there's nothing in there, it means it's no good. So hopefully, yeah. hopefully it's away. still good. Let's go ahead and hit the lock. Let's well, set this back. I don't even know. I'm saying you should have moved this one and set it on top of there. Get Link. Uh, hey, right, hold it still. Bring it over here, Link. Let's see. It's a bad one. See how you can see through that right there? That's a bad one. You can hear right. something. Go ahead and put that, that in there. Huh? All right, here goes the second one. That's bad. The second that one's one. going to be bad. Oh, no. We don't have that Third one? That one. That's, That's a bad one. Wait, what about that? That's no good. It has to be like, see where here. you can see a little bit of light right here? That means if it's there's be any solid. light at all, there's... It's bad. Mm. That's bad. It's got two. Come on. It's no, bad. it's moving. So that's a good one. See, it's I'm moving, bad. guys. I'm bad. Be careful. Bad. Then I'm gonna put these back too. Then there's something moving. Just a second. Then you would have to. Y'all see how it's moving there? If you drop it, I'm gonna stick my hand up. Uh oh, we got one. I thought that was just. There, we've got one. So I thought someone some... just powered off all the lights or something. <laughs> we need a good one, Daddy. Fourteen. Oh, there's blood veins or something. Yeah, see this? See the blood veins in them? that has got blood veins. We'll see if there's any movement. Yeah, there's something moving in there. Is that the same one you had earlier? Uh-uh. Oh, that's good. So maybe it's just going to be late. So we'll go ahead and put it back in there. Here. Oh, so we got 14. Come on, we need five. All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and turn on the light now. And we'll power this off. All right, guys, so um, we just finished candle them, and it looks like there is about 19 uh, Walker Farm <laughs> eggs that are going to have something in it. Now, the reason why I say 19, there's more net that's left in there, but we put some of our actual eggs in there. So um, obviously we can tell the difference once they hatch. But I think we have about seven that are good out of ours. So what we're going to do now is go ahead and take them out of the uh, egg turner and then lay them in there and then they'll be on lockdown until they hatch. All right, so what I'm going to do here, guys, is I'm going to take this off, or one of y'all hold this, and then I'm going to start taking them out. All right. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Hold this. Leave that door shut. It's letting cool air in. Now that we got the lid back on, they'll be on lockdown for the next three or four days. And hopefully we come out here and see a bunch of baby chicks. So actually, when Kaysen gets back from the, the doctor, or they're going to be staying in the hospital for uh, two nights. And once they arrive back home, we should have some Walker Farm chicks. So we got that on there. The uh, baby chicks will be on lockdown. And uh, so three days from now, we should have some baby chicks. Um, as many of you all know, Kaysen's going to the doctor tomorrow. He will be admitted into the hospital for a couple days. They're going to be running some tests on his head. He's still having some little, um, they think it's seizures. So please keep him in your uh, y'all's prayers. Um, we know something's wrong, so we... We're just hoping we find out what's going on. But anyways, um, like I say, these are Walker Farm eggs. Um, Cassie and Gary with Walker Farm, 
actually gave us our first start of quail eggs and um, they actually got some goats and I, I spoke with her this morning um, they actually purchased um, Dutch's goats um, Dutch with uh, keeping it Dutch uh, they're moving to off-grid and they're building a new new home um, they're actually working on a cabin right now so if you don't know keeping it Dutch go over and check his channel out and uh, tell him Rustic Woodworking Family sent you. Um, they've been, they've had a channel for a long time. But, anyways, uh, Cassie and Gary got the goats, and hopefully, by the time we get moved out to our new homestead, we will be able to purchase some baby goats from them. So, anyways, that's about all we got for today. I want to thank each and every one of y'all for. Uh, watching this video if you watch this video all the way through please leave a comment down below and let us know that you completed the whole video um, you know we like giving things away and we randomly just pick subscribers and people that comment in our videos and we'll send them a shirt so I hope you're one of them that watches the complete video so anyways um, what are you doing miss Prissy huh look at you sitting over there oh you hurt your toe Oh, look at the pink, your toenails. You got your toenails painted the other day and they're about gone now, ain't they? Look at them dirty feet, dirty feet. So, so anyways, thank y'all so much for watching. If you are not subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and check that notification bell. That way you don't miss any of our latest videos. Thank you and God bless you. One, two, three. I should like button. That's right.